Waiting for the computer to do its thing. Okay. Got it. Now we're good. Okay. Welcome to the Friday edition of Awesome Arms. So we are using the bands today. Woo. Next week, we will use the TRX training suspension system. Um, so if you don't have one, bring what you got. We'll figure it out, right? It's all about experimenting and seeing what works. Um, I'm lucky that I have the advantage of all those toys. They're awesome. All right, so today your band anchored somewhere around shoulder height, maybe a little bit lower. One hand's going to be down, the inside hand, I'll call it. It's going to be down by your side. Outside hand is bent at 90 degrees of the elbow. So you're going to be sideways to band. So you want to try to get yourself lined up so that anchor point to opposite shoulders all in one line. So we're starting with a rotator cuff today. So elbow stays in at your side and you're slowly going to rotate open and close. So making sure, again, notice the core, the torso is staying still, your wrist is straight, the shoulder stays still. So your range of motion may only be a little bit. Remember, this is what I do for a living, so I might have a little bit more range of motion, I may not. Um, and again, if you need to make it a little bit weaker, you stand in more, that will give you more range of motion a little bit more tension, stand a little bit farther away. All right, so we're starting with that rotator cuff. This is working right on the back of that shoulder blade. Pay attention to this inside arm, keep the hand down. Again, that helps regulate tension. If you need a little bit less, you can start moving that hand away. All right, two more. Neck should be staying relaxed as we do this. All right, and now bring your elbow up. So now the band is almost perpendicular, or parallel, excuse me, to the ground. Slowly press that arm straight and then slowly bend the elbow. So shoulders staying still in place, elbows staying still in space. You're just bending and straightening. Again, torso still. Everything is still. So we're making stabilization through the shoulders, right? That's part of the arms. And then we're getting the triceps to work. Triceps work. And again, regulate your resistance with that inside hand. We're going to work with it here in just a moment. Try to keep the palm going forward so your knuckles are reaching forward. A couple more here. You feel in the back of the arm. We got one more. And then release. All right, so now that hand is just holding. Now we're going to work with the inside hand. So you might want to step out a little bit, give it a little bit more tension. This arm's going to stay straight. Reach through the fingers, slowly bring your hand to your leg, and then slowly release. So this is working your lat, that big fan-shaped muscle. And again, control in and out. You need more resistance, step away. So again, make sure the shoulder is doing no work. You're getting the work through the lats, which is on the back side. Shoulder and neck stay relaxed. So again, if you need less, step in. But you should be feeling it right here, down the side. That's where it goes from the armpit to your low back. All right, got a few more here. La la la. All right, oh, la, la, la. All right, last one. This one takes a little bit. A lot of people, people tend to want to bend the elbow, so it's really about keeping that arm straight. All right, so now you're going to step in between the band. I'm going to turn more sideways. You're going to go into a slight lunge, full body lean from the back heel to the shoulders. And again, give yourself a little resistance, step away as needed and then curl forward, just up to about 90 degrees, and then release. Curl forward, and then slow on your release. Curl forward, slow on that release. Okay, working those biceps. So at the moment, elbows are a little bit behind the body because of our position. We'll change that the next time we come to these. So our right and left working equally. Does it feel like they have equal tension? Do you feel like you're strong through that back leg? You're reaching that heel down and the core is engaged to help you control your lean. Push the breastbone forward, shoulder blades are back, neck is out of it. One more. All right, and then we're gonna flip directions. Whoops, there we go, okay. So now you're starting to do the other side. So it should be the other arm is now the outside, the one that was the inside. Now you are rotating out. And in. again, elbows in at your side, inside hand down by your leg, and you're rotating. 
So elbows a little bit away from your torso, but can give it a little bit of space as long as it can stay still in space. Again, that's the stability from the shoulder. All right, getting the work on that shoulder blade. So you don't necessarily need a lot of resistance to really get those muscles. They are small. So again, get the technique down and then start adding the resistance. It's not about jumping in right away. We want good alignment. Shoulder blades are down. They're nice and dynamically stable. That's a good word, a good phrase. One side's stronger than the other. This is my weaker side. I'm already feeling it here. So we should do a couple more. Yeah. All right, shake it out. This hand, inside hand, still nice and stable. You're going to bring the outside hand up so that band is parallel to the ground. Hold the shoulder blade in place so you feel it pull down and in. Neck is relaxed. Straighten the elbow, bend the elbow. Again, working on stabilization through the shoulders, through the traps. Get out of the neck. That is part of the key of this. So if you need to, drop the elbow down. You can do that. Again, that will help you stay out of the neck. Again, put awareness into that shoulder blade. Feel it down in gently. It's that dynamic stability. It really shouldn't be moving, but it's not lock rigid either. Couple more. Last one. Oh, that's the arm. All right, so now hold the outside arm, inside arm doing the work. You might step away a little bit and then pull the hand toward your thigh and then slowly release. Again, move from the shoulder. Watch the elbow. You can turn and look at the arm. Learn to feel what you're doing. When I teach a lot, I prefer not to use mirrors because people get stuck on them. I want you to under, develop the understanding of where your body is in space and what it's doing. So look down at that elbow. Is the elbow staying straight? Is the wrist straight? Are your fingers reaching? Does it feel like your shoulder blades back? Your shoulder blades actually moving a little bit on this one. It's doing what we call upward rotation. A couple more. Last one here. Me. All right, and release, and then you're stepping in between the bands again, and you're doing that lunge forward. All right, so hopefully the other leg is forward now. Do you remember which one you did? Whatever you automatically went to, switch sides. All right, so shoulder blades back, tall spine. You're gonna push the hands forward first, and just make sure you have equal tension on the band. I did not. Okay, now I do. All right, so I'm just pushing forward. So this is a little bit of shoulder flexion, working the anterior deltoid from the shoulder. All right, so now flex, bicep curl to 90, straighten, and down. So four components, flex, isolate, biceps, down. Shoulder, elbow, elbow, shoulder. So again, noticing the stability across the joint of the shoulder, the shoulder blades, once you're pushed forward. We're putting it in a more challenged position. And you're only bending those elbows up to about that 90 degrees, so you're in line with the band. May not seem like much, doesn't have to be. Okay, if you're looking at me from the front, boom, whoops, forward, up, and down, forward, up. So shoulder blades back, chest will easily do some work here. We're getting a little bit of the chest. This part right up here, but it shouldn't be the big part of the chest, just a little bit. All right, we got two more. One and two, and release. All right, do a little chest stretch. So hands go behind, open up the chest, and then let your head go one direction and reach the arm behind you. So you're opening up the chest, the neck, and the shoulders, and then go the other side. Again, play with that head position. I appreciate you being here today. Again, TRX system next week. Um, there's a link, I will post it in case you don't have one. Have a great weekend, see you on Monday.